Today on the Audio Hotline, I'm going to be reviewing the Movo Double Mic. If you haven't heard of this microphone yet, it is relatively new, but you may have heard of a different microphone that it's similar to, the Deity Duo. I think it's technically called the Deity V Mic D4 Duo. Much like the Deity Duo, it has a capsule on the front of the microphone as well as the back. And much like the Deity Duo, this microphone is definitely aimed at content creators or vloggers, whatever you want to call them. And as I'm sure you could probably tell, I am going to do a comparison later in the video of the Movo and the Deity Duo. Both microphones have a lot of similarities, but they do have some key differences. And they're definitely different enough that depending on the person, you will be swayed one way or another. I'll talk about these microphones' differences and everything, but don't get me wrong, this is a full review for the Movo Double Mic. We'll go through all the details here shortly, but first, let's get by. <laughs> Welcome all audio and video nerds to the audio hotline. First thing I do want to say is just a quick disclaimer that Movo did in fact send me this microphone to review. They did also send me a couple other goodies, like a mug and a hat. But they are not sponsoring this video, no money is changing hands. They just sent me the microphone and want me to do an honest review. But I'll say that mug is going to make me just give them a good grade no matter what. This is the best mic of all time. So... End of the video now. If you like what you hear in this review and you decide you do want to purchase the Movo Double Mic, you will be able to find it for around $60. Comparing that to the $90 Deity D4 Duo. One other real quick thing, I do have timestamps in this video if you want to navigate through it or if you want to jump to the comparison. Currently I'm recording this into a Zoom H5. It's just going into the line in and actually the gain is only set at about 30%. But I'll be recording this into my iPhone as well and straight into a camera during the testing section. I know this is going to sound kind of silly and maybe a little bit petty. But when you think of like the Deity Duo, you're like, hey... That's cool. Like, that's a name, you know? The Deity Duo. And then on the other hand, you got, you know, the Movo Double Mic. You could say it's maybe just a little bit too on the nose. A part of me just feels like the person that names the products over at Movo had, like, a really, really terrible fight with their spouse the night before. And they came into work and they were just, like, super tired... And then their boss walks over. Hey there, pal. How's it going? Oh, hey. Well, look, I just got a quick cue for you. I know that I told you last week that I was going to need the name for that new microphone that we we're coming out with, the one with the the front and the back. Uh, <laughs> what are those called? The capsules? Oh, yeah. That's, that's right. That's right. I'm honestly just not much of an audio guy at all. In fact, the only reason I'm working here is because my daddy gave me the job. You know, just a little nepotism. <laughs> you get it, you get it. Don't tell HR I said that. Anywho, why don't you just go ahead and hit me with that name real quick. I'll go get it up to Big Boy Pants, and uh, we'll get this thing rolling. Yeah, no, I've, I've got that. I've, I have that, for sure. Man, I am excited to hear this new name. I will say... Me and my daddy, we've been real proud of the names you've been coming up with here at Movo. Movo? Is that what you said? Movo? Yeah, you know, Movo. You've been working here a while. We wanted the extra O because all the cattle we used to move back in the day. Oh, okay. But <laughs> my little brother can't spell for shit, so here we are. Movo. <laughs> anyway, why don't you hit me with that name then there, son? Well, uh... Yeah, I'm just uh just collecting my thoughts here for a second. Uh, it's on the tip of my tongue, you know. Yeah, we got a uh, double double trouble. Okay. The parent trap. Lindsay Lohan. Are you coming up with this on the spot? Two capsules. Two capsules. Double mic. The Movo double mic. The two capsules. The double mic. Yeah. Is that good? Man, that is just a home run. Oh, oh, I'm so glad you like it. I told my daddy, I was like, oh, he gonna come up with a bad name one of these times. And then I thought it was gonna be this time, but you did it. Oh, dumb. 
double mic. Move on, double mic. Okay. Woo! Thank you. No, I'm just messing around, but it is a little bit of a silly name. But let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the box when you purchase the double mic. When you purchase the Movo double mic, you will get a hard case for storage and travel. Inside that case, you will find two foam windscreens as well as two furry, fluffy windscreens. I am not going to say the deceased feline thing. In addition to that, you will find a Ryko shock mount, a Movo sticker, a TRRS cable that is attached to the microphone, and of course, the microphone itself, the Movo double mic. Everything that's included with this microphone feels good for the price. The microphone itself feels pretty solid. There are some switches on it that we'll talk about in a second that feel pretty good, but not all Rycote shock mounts are created equal. This Rycote shock mount is very plastic-y. Plastic-y? Is that a word? It's that though. And it's kind of difficult to get the microphone on the shock mount at first. The cable that's attached to the microphone feels great, but why? Is the cable attached to the microphone? <laughs> Movo, no, no. Now, if you ruin your cable, you gotta throw the baby out with the bathwater. But now that we've talked about what comes with this microphone, now let's go ahead and talk about what comes on the microphone. Let's go ahead and talk about some features. On the top of this microphone is where you will find a majority of its little Movo magic. It has a three position dial that allows you to engage the front capsule, the front and the rear capsule, or just the rear capsule. There's a two position switch right next to it that you'll change according to what kind of device you have the Movo plugged into, whether it be your camera or your phone. On the side of the double mic, there is also a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. However, this headphone jack will only work when you have it plugged into your phone. Now the features on this microphone are what are really cool. And one thing that's not so great is actually the headphone jack on here will only work when you have it in the smartphone position. Now the ability to choose whether you're using the front, the front plus the rear capsule or just the rear capsule is awesome. The Deity D4 Duo has an option that you can use just the front or the front and the back. And the Deity D4 also has a pretty cool option that has an input on here so you can actually plug like a lav in. And the way that that works is that the lav will use one side of a stereo track while the microphone uses the other side. Now this is probably my biggest issue with the Movo. You do not get a stereo track where the front and the rear capsules are separated. It is a mixed stereo channel. So in post you can't choose like only play the left side which was the front capsule. It doesn't work that way. You get a stereo track, and it is what it is. I don't think it totally ruins this microphone, but I think it's just something to be aware of. And if that's not going to work for you, then look elsewhere. But now that we've talked about what comes with this microphone, what comes on the microphone, now let's go ahead and talk about what comes in the microphone. Let's go ahead and nerd out with some specs. The Movo Double Mic is a condenser microphone that features dual super cardioid capsules. This has a frequency response of 45 hertz to 18 kilohertz, a front capsule sensitivity of negative 32 decibels, and a rear capsule sensitivity of negative 44 decibels. This has a signal to noise ratio of 80 decibels and weighs 67.5 grams. Now just to name one other real quick difference between the D4 Duo and the double mic. These are super cardioid capsules in the Movo and these are cardioid capsules in the D4 Duo. We'll do the sound comparison later between these two and you can decide for yourself what you like. But now that we've gone through the basics and the specs and everything, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to some testing. Now I'm gonna do a lot of different tests and they will of course be labeled down in the lower third and you can navigate with timestamps if you need to. We'll test a couple quick things in the studio right now and then we'll move on to some other tests. Now if you get really close to the Movo double mic, the front capsule, here's how it's gonna sound. Now if you get really close to the rear capsule of the Movo double mic, here's how it sounds. Now this part's gonna be a little bit rough. We're gonna do some plosives. It's gonna get loud and uh, good luck. Peter Piper picked a patch of pickled peanutses. 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 Now we're gonna do a real quick polar pattern test with some white noise.
Now, if any of you are looking into getting this microphone and putting it on top of the camera, rather than doing that, here's how it could sound if you get a cheap mic stand, an extension cable for this mic, and send it straight into your camera, but just have the microphone, you know, a little bit away from you, just on the stand, just out of the frame. And now I have the microphone on top of the camera in the hot shoe mount. Here's how it sounds. You can probably hear my lens occasionally focusing. Can always be an issue, you know, depending on if you use autofocus or not. Assuming you were gonna shoot with like a 50 millimeter, you'd probably at least have to be this far away. I'd say now I'm about four feet away versus like two. Now let's go ahead and unplug the mic and listen to the internal Canon R5 audio. And here is how the internal Canon R5 audio sounds. A majority of cameras do not have good internal mics. And a lot of them don't even have good internal preamps. So right now I'm just doing a little vlog test, actually talking into the back of the microphone. In a pretty reverberant room, there's a AC unit on. You know, life is happening around us like a normal vlog would happen, you know? Makes sense. But look at this cute boy. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, you're welcome, YouTube. You're welcome. Oh, don't go there. Oh, don't get dirty with it, Blue. This is R, but not X. Come on, Blue. Oh, why am I still showing this? So then when you turn the microphone around, turn the camera around, I guess, and the microphone as well, here's what the front sounds like. So the back side of this microphone isn't actually as sensitive as the front, which I thought was genius, because obviously when you turn the mic and camera around, you're gonna be closer to the back side of the mic. So yeah, it should definitely be less sensitive, and that was a smart call on their part. Man, you need a comb, bud. You need a comb. Are you gonna bite me? Are you being a jerk? Are you going to be a jerk? Oh, you, you dick! You cute dick, I love you. I'm not even mad. So right now I'm just doing a real quick iPhone test. The closest that I can really be to this is about two feet away. But here's how it sounds going into the iPhone 12 Pro. I'm actually using the iRig recorder app in video mode. I tried to use the native app, but there's kind of a couple issues with that. There was like a clicking throughout the whole recording, which was very odd. I also just wanted to see if this mic worked in the actual native app. And you can't really set your gain level for the microphone in that app. So I went with the iRig recorder app. I'm not sure if there is an app that Movo wants you to use, but I'm pretty positive Movo doesn't have their own app. But now this is how just the internal iPhone 12 Pro audio sounds. I decided to once again record with the iRig recorder app just so I could get a 24-bit at 48 kilohertz wave file. But here's how that sounds in comparison to the double mic. This is one of those situations that I worry about with this microphone. Since this microphone mixes down to a stereo track, rather than putting the front on the left side of the track and the back on the right or vice versa, it kind of can create some issues. Uh-oh. Should I touch this fence? <laughs> I'm gonna do it. But since this stream is pretty loud, and the front microphone is more sensitive, if you were to be around something like this or like in traffic, it could really create some issues with your audio since you can't separate the back and the front. But it's a pretty day, it's a pretty little scene here. Hopefully the audio turns out all right. I bet that now that I'm faced directly at the stream, it probably is even louder. <laughs> Actually a tiny bit of wind picked up, not too much though. But uh, here's just a real quick example with the furry windscreens on. Now let's go ahead and start on the Deity D4 versus the Movo double mic comparison. Let's go ahead and start that comparison in an untreated room. Here is just the front capsule of the Movo double mic. And now here's the sound of the front capsule of the Deity Duo in this very reverberant room. Now here's a combination of both the front and the rear capsules with the double mic. Now you are listening to the front capsule with the front and back capsule engaged. But here's the thing. The front capsule goes on the left channel and the back goes on the right. So all I have to do is tell my computer to fill the right channel with the left's audio. And here we have it. We don't even have to deal 
with the extra reverb that the back would be picking up. And now here is just the rear capsule. And now I'm just exclusively isolating that back capsule. So now we're in a much more sound controlled and treated room. But here's just the front capsule engaged on the Movo double mic about a foot away from my mouth. And now I have the Deity D4 Duo plugged in, and this is just the front capsule engaged. Now we have both the front and rear capsules engaged on the Movo double mic, and I'm speaking into the front. Here is the Deity D4 Duo, the front capsule with both of them engaged. And now with both front and back engaged, I'm speaking into the back. And now I'm talking into the back of the Deity D4 Duo with both of the capsules engaged. And now with just the rear capsule engaged, I'm speaking into the rear of the double mic. Here's one more test a foot away. And this is me about a foot away from the Deity D4 Duo. And now I have the front capsule of the Movo mic about two feet away from me. Now I'm about two feet away from the Deity D4 Duo. And now I'm about three feet away from the Movo double mic. And I'm about three feet away from the Deity D4 Duo. Well, now that we've gone through the basics, the specs, we tested the absolute hell out of this microphone. So many tests. Honestly, this video is probably so long. But now that we've got all that out of the way, now I'm ready to give you my review of the Movo Double Mic. This is gonna be a little bit of a hard review section for me. Cause all in all, I actually think this microphone sounds pretty good, especially for its like $60 price point. And all the features that it does have within that $60 price point is absolutely awesome. The accessories it comes with, the little storage thing, you know, all the windscreens, the cute little sticker, man. <sighs> a lot of really great stuff. But with this microphone, I have a little bit of a hard time with it because I feel like there are a few more deal breakers than there should be. But let me cover a couple other good things about this microphone before I talk about some of the cons. Having the switches on the microphone is a really nice option. Being able to switch between, you know, using the front, front and rear and rear capsule is great. But the fact that this has camera and phone capability and a headphone jack, that's like a big selling point. It'd be really nice if the mic could just intelligently know whether it was plugged into a camera and using that extra ring or not. But hey, the fact that it works flawlessly with a phone and a camera, that's great. It would be really great if that headphone jack would work with cameras because a lot of smaller cameras like the Canon M50, they don't have a headphone jack. And I know it can be a connection issue versus TRS and TRRS, but it'd be really cool to have that feature available. So as I mentioned, there are a lot of great things and probably the greatest thing is the price. The fact that you can get a microphone feature packed like this for the same price as a Rode Video Micro that's pretty cut and dry, that's awesome. Now let's talk about some of the cons and some of the potential deal breakers for some people. Even though it's really nice that it comes with two different sets of windscreens, I actually don't feel like those windscreens work super well. They both do an okay job of rejecting some minor plosives, but the foam windscreen and the furry windscreen don't really do a very good job of rejecting wind noise. I mean, when I tested it, it was like a small breeze, like not even super noticeable and you could hear it no problem but compared to the Rode Video Micro furry windscreen this thing is tiny and super thin so it's just not going to do much and the next thing I'm going to mention I've talked about a lot in this video so I won't go over it too extensively but the fact that this mixes the capsules down to a stereo mix drives me insane you can do a mix down stereo track for the front and the rear which would be awesome but when it comes to the front plus the rear mode I think that you have to do it a stereo track, one capsule going to the left, one to the right. For me, I think that's an absolute necessity because if you're talking to the back of the microphone and you're showing something and there's like loud traffic or something really loud happening in front, your audio is going to be screwed. Now, I understand completely why they did the mix down. They wanted to make it easier for people. They didn't want them to have to do it in post. But I think that having the option in post is more important and could save you so many takes and could really make your takes sound substantially better by being able to isolate who's talking at a certain time. Now for my last con, it actually might be the most serious one. With this microphone and this cable, I've already had some pretty bad experiences with RFI and EMI. And if you don't know what that is, it's electromagnetic interference and radio frequency interference. 
For instance, if you've ever had a microphone or something plugged in and you've been sending a text message and all of a sudden you hear kind of like a staticky sound into the microphone, you have some interference happening. Like for instance, if I was to put my phone next to this, you can hear some crackling for sure. But I've actually had this happen a lot. Like right there. Like, what the hell was that? Usually you can control it a little bit better, like put your phone away and everything. But if this is meant to be plugged into a phone, which causes it interference, how is it ever going to not have interference unless you're just in airplane mode, I guess? Maybe that would work? But it having that interference and a permanently attached cable, that's rough. All things considered, the grade that I give the Movo double mic is a C+. Now, you might be a little confused because I've been talking mad shit about it. <laughs> Even though it has those cons, it still has a lot of pros. And I think that there are a lot of workarounds for a lot of the issues. The interference thing, I'm hoping, might just be the microphone that I got. I don't know. I doubt it. But I still feel like everything this microphone delivers, it is worth the $60. And that's why I gave it that grade. Thank you for watching this review of the Movo Double Mic. I hope that it helped you out, helped you decide whether this microphone is going to be right for you or not. But most of all, I hope you had fun. Stay tuned for a lot more reviews and comparisons and other audio related videos. Thank you to Movo for sending this microphone over for a review. A big thank you to all of you that are subscribed to this channel it really helps out and an even bigger 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 thank you to everyone that's a member of this channel but once again thank you for watching the audio hotline i'll see you audio and video nerds next time